Hello everyone, my name's Sasha and welcome back to another how-to video. I work as a GIS consultant in our product communications team and today this short how-to video is going to walk you through how to add data into Experience Builder using Arcade. So along with the June update to ArcGIS Online this year, we're now able to pull in data from a portal, whether it's data we own or data we don't own, using the item ID. Now this is a really useful way to extract data without modifying or making direct changes to the original data source, and you can also filter this data using script as well. And this just means that you don't have to add in any extra layers into your experience builder, so it's quite a useful way to just pull in some more information. So to demonstrate this today, I've got a biodiversity planner application open in Experience Builder. And this is just looking at some land cover across three different sites in Exeter. But ideally, I'd like to pull in a little bit more information into this app. Now, I know that I've got some data on tree species in Exeter. I don't own this data, we can see that Ben owns it here, but I'd quite like to pull it in and just see if it can add anything to my application. So to do that, I'm going to head to my data tab on the left hand side, and we can see that currently I've only got my biodiversity land cover map data in here. So I'm going to head to the add data button, and then find my way to Arcade. So in here, I'm just going to paste some script, which will help me pull in my data. So here we need to see that we can see that I need to pull in my portal URL. So when I head back to the data I'm looking to add in, I can extract this data from the URL here. I'm going to copy that in. And we can also see that I need to add in my item ID. And again, I can take this from the end of the URL. Okay, so now I'm happy that my expression is ready to go. I'm going to hit add. And we can see that if my script has been successful, I've got this little done button at the bottom here. And now we can see that I've got an arcade data feature layer that's been pulled in. So to test this, I'm going to add a widget to my application. So I want to have a look at the different species of trees in this area. So I'm going to navigate to the chart widget. When I head to the select data tab for my chart on the right hand side, we can see that I can now use this arcade data that I've just added. I'll select a column chart for this purpose. And then my category field will be my species. And there we are. We can see that the data I have pulled in using Arcade means that I'm able to gather a bit more information about my species of tree in this area without me owning the data or having to add anything extra into my Experience Builder application. I could then go ahead and format this chart as much or as little as I like. So thank you for listening. I hope you learned something new and have a go at bringing some data in using Arcade yourself. See you next time.